For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with redshirt freshman tight end Carrie Angeline. So fall camp, how's it been going so far? Good. It's a uh, second fall camp, you know, kind of just it's a little different this year, you know, knowing the playbook and kind of being around the guys for extra years. So it's been uh, pretty good so far. How does that help you that extra year? Uh, I mean, honestly, I think it's the, the difference in everything. You know, the redshirt year, I kind of needed that just to, you know, physically get ready for the college game and mentally just prepare myself and being on the West Coast. So. Yeah, how much of a switch from East Coast the West Coast was that for you? Uh, it was a very big switch, you know, huge culture difference. The people are different, just a lot of different atmosphere. So it took a lot of while to get used to, but I'm, uh, I'm doing good out here now. So what was the biggest like people difference between East Coast and West Coast? Uh, but definitely one thing I've noticed out like back East, people are a lot more sarcastic. So like out here, if I felt like try to make a joke and like we'll take it seriously, but I don't know. Just, Stuff like that, people back home are kind of more sarcastic out here, kind of more laid back, so just little stuff like that. So, What did you learn in your redshirt year? Uh, that there's going to be big DNs like Porter and Chenna in college football, and i got to learn how to block them. So kind of I think that redshirt year definitely helped me a lot just to get adjusted. So, What's that like going up against them in practice? Uh, first, you know, it was, it was rough, but uh, I had that whole redshirt year. I literally blocked Porter every single day in the fall. So... Um, I'm starting to get used to it now, and uh, you know, I still have room for improvement. So, was it, where specifically do you need to improve? Uh, I think everything. Still, I'm still working on my route running, blocking, and uh, I think all the tight ends are working on that. So, uh, Coach Baxter, he really uh, says, you know, if you're not a uh, good blocker, you might as well just put a receiver out there. So, yeah. How are you? Wh where are you more comfortable, receiving or blocking? Uh, right now, I think receiving, but you know, I still like to block. I'm still been working on that a lot. So. What do you do to work on that? Uh, just a lot of drills, It's whether it's individual drills, and obviously the weight room helps with that as well. So, yeah, I mean, Baxter just has a lot of good drills we do. So, mm -hmm. What's he like as a coach? Oh, he's awesome. He's a uh, real teacher's coach. He likes to uh, – he likes to uh, – he has a specific just way of coaching that's really good. He kind of, you know, see it, visualize it, rep it out. And, uh, yeah, he's been real good so far. Mm -hmm. So. What's it like for you? You're kind of lonely at the tight end position right now with all the mm -hmm. injuries. What's it like for you being the, that guy right now? Yeah, I mean, in the spring, it was it was me and Appleby because I'm pretty sure they were, uh, all the other guys were hurt too. So, I, honestly, I think in the spring it was rougher, but now it's, it's just uh, we have half the tight ends right now, but kind of just got to get used to it and kind of fight through it. So, Has it pushed you into a leadership role now? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's definitely kind of cool to see I'm, I'm not really the young guy anymore and kind of I know the playbook now and it's kind of just the difference of I'm out there trying to perform my or uh, execute my technique and not just kind of be out there worrying about doing the right thing so mm -hmm. how much does your height give you an advantage <laughs> uh, I definitely think it's uh, helps me a lot receiving uh, kind of always has when I was growing up always been a, a tight end so that's uh I think it helps me blocking. A lot of people th might think it's a disadvantage, but I think I get pretty low when I'm blocking. So, mm -hmm. you've been seeing looks from both Jack Sears and Matt Fink. What do you see from them? Uh, I mean, they're both improving a lot, and uh, just trying to get my chemistry down with all three of them. So, kind of ready for whatever. So, mm -hmm. what would be a successful season for you this year? Uh, national championship, and uh, it'd be awesome. You know, if we won that, and uh, kind of just going back home, that would be awesome. But mm -hmm. What about personally? Anything? Personally? Uh, I don't know. Just kind of whatever is best for the team, you know. They'll do whatever it takes to win. So. All right. Well, good luck this season. Appreciate it. Thank you. With Carrie Angeline, I'm Keely Yor. For more, check out uscfootball.com.